Uh, scale factor. Scale factor is just the ratio that we get for two similar figures. So when I compare the sides, it's the ratio that we're talking about. All right. So if two uh, side, uh, uh, figures are similar, I get this ratio for each side that should be the same for all the sides. It should be proportional for all the sides. Well, that ratio, we call it a scale factor because essentially we're scaling the figure up. In other words, we're increasing the size or we're scaling it down. We're decreasing the size. Okay. And so for this one, it says that uh, triangle ABC is similar to triangle XYZ. And so if I wanted to know the scale factor, I would just have to compare any two corresponding sides. So I look at sides that are in the same position, like the 20 and the 8. And I could compare it as 20 over 8, or if I wanted to do small to big, I would do 8 over 20. Okay, Either one of those would be fine, so 8 over 20. But then I have to reduce that fraction, just like I did with other ratios. I reduce that fraction to a 2 over 5. Okay? But notice if I compare a different set of sides, let's say I compare the 15 and the 6 instead, compare it in the same way. I did small to big for the first one, so here we go, small to big, that's 6 over 15. And once again, when I reduce that, that's 2 over 5. And so this is the idea behind similarity. If these are similar, these should all be proportional. If I look at this one, compare the 25 and the 10, again, I'm going to do it in the same order. I'm going to do 10 over the 25 hey, that reduces to a 2 over 5, okay? And that's what it means to be, to be similar. If these are similar, then yes, all of those should give me the same ratio. That special ratio that's true for all of them, that's my scale factor, okay? And so when we talk about the scale factor of this thing, the scale factor... The scale factor of the small triangle to the big triangle is 2 to 5, or we could say that the scale factor of the uh, small triangle, the big triangle is 2 to 5 written this way. But I could also compare it the other way. I could say, hey, the scale factor from the large to the small just be 5 over 2. Okay? So it depends on how you want to compare this thing. If I want to go small to big, it's 2 to 5. If I want to go big to small, it's 5 to 2. Okay? But that scale factor ends up being the thing that we would like multiply by in order to find missing values. Okay? Or we could set up proportions because these things are proportional.